So first, let's begin with the basics. And what we'll do is we'll define what channel theory is versus organ theory is. So as you know, we all have channels and we have organs. And with the organs, we have zhang organs and we have fu organs. And all of them have different functions. Like for example, the lungs, they govern qi, they govern respiration. And the liver, the liver, it ensures the smooth flow of qi. We have our spleen. Our spleen transforms and it transports. Now that's just one of the functions of each of those organs. Now on the other hand, we also have channels. Each channel has its own pathway. It has its own branches. And there's actually even different types of channels. We have main channels. We have law connecting channels. We have sinew channels or muscle channels. And the patient's going to present differently depending on if there's a disease in the channel or if there's a pathology in the organ. So, for example, with channel manifestations or symptoms, the symptoms are going to be a little bit more broad and a little bit more superficial. And with organ manifestations, what you're going to notice is that the pathology is messing with the function of the organ.